Hi everyone and welcome to Wild Music. Ennio Morricone died only a few days ago and he's left behind a huge amount of amazing music. He won many, many awards and his portfolio seemed to cover almost every possible mainstream style. This, this particular piece of music is from the film, the soundtrack to the film Cinema Paradiso, one of his most famous works. And the soundtrack to this film he composed together with his son Andrea. This is Cinema Paradiso, the main theme. And the movie itself was an Italian film released in 1988, directed by Giuseppe Tornatone. It starred Antonella Attili, Enzo Carnavale, Salvatore Castillo and Marco Leonardi and was loosely based on the story of the Protti family. The film actually won an award at the Cannes Film Festival when it was released in the 80s and then in 2010 won an Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film at the 62nd Academy Awards and it also won in 1991 a BAFTA Award for the Best Film Music. So the plot of the film was this. A filmmaker recalls his childhood when falling in love with the pictures at the cinema of his hometown village and forms a deep friendship with the cinema's projectionist. Anyway, let's hear the music. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, what clever scoring and what beautiful melodies he had in that piece of music. It it seemed to be the first half was the main music and then it repeated again at the end with some slight variation, obviously, right at the end of each section. So it was two sections, but you could break that up into a number of main melodies that repeated. In fact, as I was going, I think there were about five or six, maybe seven 
different little parts. And then there are a lot of counter melodies going underneath with the strings. Absolutely beautiful. So let's go from the beginning and I'll talk it through and walk through. So we start with the piano, just a few notes, and you can hear the strings in the background. And over the first part of the music, so for a little while, there's a B-flat pedal note in the bass, which is obviously a double bass playing that. Let's hear it. Now the flowing piano part. It's just beautiful the way everything just emerges. He's started. The strings are obviously there. Let me play something. I'm not sure if this will pick it up very well, but we'll try. So it starts with the piano part. And the strings come in, obviously, on, on the piano. Then the flowing piano part. That beautiful flowing melody is lovely. and But I really love the piano notes right at the beginning as well. It's like a grand entrance, but it's understated. It's not over the top. It's just saying, here I am. I'm starting. It's entering. And actually, the minute you hear that, it's so recognisable that it's the film music, to the main theme of Cinema Paradiso. I'll play it again up to that point. I'm pretty sure it's a soprano sax, comes in with the main tune and the piano is playing a harmony note. It's sort of like something like this. So the flowing accompaniment. So the sax is really playing the main melody. As that's going, the piano is playing. So this is the part. Some sort of counter melody down there. So put together goes. And with the accompaniment part. Uh, something like this. So you'll be able to hear that this time. I'll play that again. second one there's also a string playing one of the stringed instruments playing the harmony line with the piano underneath the soprano sax I won't go back all the way to the beginning I'll just try and capture that <laughs> Counter line. I'll just go back, play that counter line. That's 14 notes. That was in the Okay. I'll let it play on a bit further this time, but 10 notes in the first melody, 10 notes in the second. 14 notes in the third.
to that minor chord there, the E flat minor. It's so beautiful. He goes to the E flat major, then immediately, I guess you would say it's modulated into E flat major at that point momentarily and instantly goes to the tonic minor, E flat minor, to lead back into the next part, into different keys. So it's modulating a bit. at that point I'll just play that again that's a beautiful modulation Oops, didn't catch enough of that I'll go back a bit further like the beginning or from at least the first melody Hear the harmony and the strings of the That was the 14 note melody, the one that was a little bit longer. Another note in the strings there that actually makes it into a B flat major nine chord. It's the note C. So it sounds B flat major, B flat major seven. See, it's got a nice tonal quality. Then B flat major nine adds in a C as well. And gives you that feel. in the strings right at the end I'll pick it up just from a little bit back leading into that <laughs> right at the end absolutely beautiful wasn't it and just the string treatment and the way the song builds at certain points so there's dynamic variation it does get a little bit louder but it's kept within certain limits it doesn't get too loud because that would be out of um out of context of this particular piece of music and its purpose in the movie it's it's a color it's a splash of colour that you hear, you listen to it straight away and firstly, if you know the tune, you instantly think of the movie and it's instantly recognisable as well as being the theme from Cinema Paradiso and a very fantastic film score. This particular piece, but the whole film score, absolutely brilliant by Ennio Morricone and his with assistance and with some composing co-composing from his son, Andrea. 
I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this. See you very soon again.